I don't think that the questions that I ask are that personal. It is a time for them to maybe put the record straight. It works both ways. Some people say, I don't want to do the, you know, do the show because uh, I may have to reveal myself. Others say, you know what? It's about time that I can tell it the way it is. Barbara was as much a celebrity as any of the countless stars she interviewed. Hey, solo already, solo. Did you know you were good looking? The truth. <laughs> Audiences first got to know her in 1961 when she debuted as a reporter on NBC's Today. There was an awful lot of noise made over, not too much. We had a producer once who said that people get up in the morning and they switch on that dial to find out if the world is still there. And I think I felt that. But I must point out that I had no thought of being on the program. I always thought I would just be a writer. That just happened. I never expected it. She eventually was made co-host and was lured away in 1976 to co-anchor ABC's Evening News with veteran newsman Harry Reasoner. I have a new colleague to welcome, Barbara. Thank you, Harry. Well, tonight has finally come for me, and I'm very pleased to be with you, Harry, and with ABC News. And later I'll have a chance to comment on my new duties. But at the time, she was criticized for her reported $1 million salary, and many were not ready for a woman in such a high-profile spot. When I left NBC and came to ABC, that first year or two was so difficult for me. I really felt that I was drowning, that my career was over, I, I, and I had to work, and I wanted to work, and I, I, I couldn't see my way out of it. She worked her way out, becoming a co-anchor of 2020 and hosting her celebrity specials. Walters did more than 100 interviews with E.T. over nearly 40 years and was there to induct us into the Museum of TV and Radio. Well, I think Entertainment Tonight is unique. I mean, it really was the first program that made entertainment news. And I have to admit, even though I'm going to be sorry I did, that I very often use the Entertainment Tonight interviews as homework for my interviews. Hello, I'm Barbara Wawa. And welcome to Barbara Wawa at Watch. Barbara's signature way of speaking with a lisp was parodied for years on SNL, and the legend once stopped by Weekend Update to poke fun at herself. What an honor it was to see my groundbreaking career in journalism reduced to a cartoon character with a ridiculous voice. Barbara Walters! She launched The View in 1997, we were there from the very beginning. This is not a sleazy show. This is a show that will have a celebrity guest, the kind of coffee clutch that you would have with your old pals at home, except all of us of different ages and different backgrounds. Rosie O'Donnell joined the show in 2006. At first, she and Barbara seemed to have a great relationship. We knew this was gonna be okay, and we knew that it was gonna be fun, and we are gonna have days when we disagree. That's what it's all about. This is the most honest person. What you see on camera is what you see off camera. So it's going to be a good time. But one year later, there was a falling out. Rosie left amidst reports of a feud with Walters. Rosie is now saying that her biggest problem with The View is that she should have been in charge. But when we first talked to Rosie, she didn't want that. She said, no, no, I, I want to just be one of the members of it. As it turns out, that's not what she wanted. She wanted to be Diana Ross with the rest of us in the chorus. And that was very difficult for her. Barbara also made headlines when she released her autobiography in 2008. She revealed a secret affair in the 1970s with Senator Edward Brooke. People consider me such a prig, I think, that they were very surprised of, of this revelation. And he was not only African-American, but married. I knew that it was beginning to leak out. People in Washington were talking about it. And it was then that, that we thought this was something that had to end. It could harm us both. Always healthy with boundless energy, in 2010, she addressed her audience about a heart problem. Later this week, I'm going to have surgery to replace one faulty heart valve. Four years later, at age 84, Walter stepped away from hosting The View. I'm going to have to learn to live another kind of life, to, to enjoy things, to take time, to travel. Oprah, who said her career was inspired by Barbara, appeared on her last show. Please welcome Diane Sawyer. Robin Roberts. And surprised her with other famous female TV journalists who had followed in her footsteps. I've got to go sometime. I want to go now while things are good, while I'm still doing stories, while I'm still in good health. You know, a few years back I had a big heart problem. You know, I survived, I'm here. Walters was a woman who knew her place in the history of broadcasting, but said her rise to fame came through hard work. 
My cup runneth over. I thank you. Thank you.